Dean, a, a bit of sweet three points here at Stockport, uh, given the fact that Joe Widdison went off injured in, le, late in the second half. Well, I'm delighted for our supporters and delighted for our football club. We showed a lot, a lot of character tonight. Now, after being beat at the weekend, because we played really well in the previous five games, um, even when we lost to Boreham Wood. And I asked, could we show character? And I come up here and I made a decision to go with legs and take experience out of the team. And we tackled, we fought, we bit, you know, we got in the face. We played some football ourselves. Very young toy tonight, and I'm really, really proud of our players. With Joe's situation, I'm devastated. I'm emotional, I have to be honest with you, I'm devastated. You know, he was like a warrior tonight. He was outstanding at left back, and the injury that's happened to him. You know, I know I'm not meant to say much on the side, but consistent foul on an Efren in the first half. And we make a challenge that's like a 50 50 yellow card, and we get given it, and they have no yellow cards in the first half. They must have had 20 fouls in the first half. You know, and uh, I think the referee lost control of the game. And I think that's what happens when referees don't control the game and stop fouling and consistent fouling. You know, a challenge like that goes in. You know, I know the lad probably hasn't meant it. It's ridiculous. He used to have a good look at himself, Thomas, the referee. And I'm not meant to come out and say that, but I'm prepared to say that. Because this year we've played 14 games, we've got seven penals against us. Saturday was the same, it's a tactic, it's a Wrexham's. How many fouls on, on, on Efron the first half? I count on Saturday against Wrexham, I counted nine. Is it the same again tonight? You know, it's, it's not right. You know, because we're a small club coming up to Stockport. And against Wrexham, Hollywood, it's embarrassing. I'm proud of our team today. I shouldn't even be talking about him. I'm proud of our football club today. Because we need character, we need togetherness. And this is what proves it, this is what shows it. We didn't, we didn't walk the walk tonight, we talked the talk. That's what we've got to continue to do. Two really well worked goals today from two set pieces. Is that something we've been working on? We always work on set pieces. Standard. Every Friday, oh, yeah. yesterday, today, video analysis. We work on the opposition. A pace up the top line. How good was Efron? <laughs> what a performance by the kid. <laughs> he's like a one-man band at times. I don't mean that disrespectfully to air players, but he's outstanding. Adam Marrier, two big monster centre-halves coming through the back of him. Clever, smart. I was just really proud of everything. I'm, I'm a bit heated, a bit emotional because I'm emotional because we've had a player go off a serious injury. It's embarrassing. It's not good enough. Now we need an explanation. You know, letting the game go and consistently foul our players until something like that happens. I have to say, Stockport were outstanding. You know, their bench, they're outstanding with the injury. Their doctor, GA, has just told me. You now we thank them for that. We've nothing against Stockport. We've no, you know, I mean, nothing against the Stockport player, but. Um, they were outstanding tonight in, in their approach to what happened. But uh, I'm just proud, delighted for our supporters. They come up, you know, probably 150 of them, is that about right? And uh, I'm delighted for our football club because we had a lot of dark days. We need to show togetherness. It's building blocks for us. We need to show togetherness. We need to show determination. We need to show what we can do as a football club, how we can grow, what at the foundation level. And we've shown that tonight. And we've shown it in previous games. Maybe not on Saturday because of the timing of the goals. Well, I'm really proud of us today. We can go back down south and look forward to Saturday. You mentioned it there. How, how pleased were you with the resilience of the side? You know, 15 minutes of, of added time yeah. and, and uh, dealing with everything that, that got thrown our way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We dealt with a lot. Um, yeah, look, how's Tom been sent? I haven't even spoke about that. The, the lad's not in control of the ball. Tom has got on the cover. The lad's got his short. It's six and one. He's not in control of the ball. So it's not a red card. So obviously the referee don't know the laws. It's, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Absolute embarrassment. He played, he played 18 minutes added on time. 18 minutes. <laughs> Give them every opportunity. I don't mind I got sent off. Naive for me. I apologise. I apologise to the officials for that. I apologise to the supporters and the football club. But I had to kick the ball away. What I did, I felt it was a professional thing to do. So um, I apologise to everybody, especially to my family and that. So I'm just proud of us. I cannot be any proud. I cannot say the word and the players should be proud of themselves. And that's for Joe Widdiston. In the break, the player said to them, we have to do this for Joe Widdiston. Because everything's against us. We're 12 men against us today. And that's the truth. How, how important did you feel like that the timings of our goals were? Obviously, what one in around the 20th minute and, and the second, just in the start of the second half. There was a great chance at the start of the game. I want the football now. Great chance at the start of the game. Caught on the counter-attack. They lack pace in the centre-half areas. We know we could get down the sides of them. F spot in, he's just pulled one wide on the break. Their lad Sarsevich, what a player he is. What a pass he played for their goal to get the post from distance. But they had no real clear chances. And I think we did a little bit of a break, I think, late in the game. The sound was chanting to their assistant, they were sort of saying it was a handball, they reviewed it a little bit. So we had a nice little break. 
uh, way, but we earned that break, you earned the look. And um, yeah, the timings of the goals were good. Look, at the end of the day, to come here and win, it's an unbelievable victory. You know, the bookmakers, everyone's against us. That's a price to look in here today, I'm not, you know, endorsing that, but you know, sometimes they get it wrong. But the only way they get it wrong is hard work and togetherness. Hard work beats everything. And that's what we showed tonight. There are plenty of positives to, for, from tonight, but we we particularly disappointed that we uh, that we did concede, we didn't keep that clean, clean sheet. Listen, what a goal they scored! What a pass! What a volley in the top corner! It's a great goal! It's a great goal! Take your, tip your hat to that. But I'm delighted we didn't concede a lot of chances. You know, we're playing Harry Taylor as a midfielder, centre half. You're playing. He's just come back from his screenage. He took that time. You know, you see his power, his attributes. You see Joe's going to be out now, which will devastate for him and his family. We're going to miss him. Um, yeah, so Keane did a good job in midfield, young kid at Crystal Palace. Did he run the warrior today? Warrior. You know that um, Ben Evan Mitchell played, come on and played injured? He wasn't fit today. He come on and played injured with a back injury. That's warrior. That's what it takes. And he's shown that today. Brilliant. Outstanding. How, how pleased are you with, the, uh, with our supporters today? Really stuck through us right through the match. It's great. Look, we, the football club, our football club's been through a tough time the last couple of years. And I hope I can change that. You know, I hope I lead that. Um, I want to lead it. The only way we do it is hard work and togetherness, but that's created. It don't just happen. You can't talk about it. You've got to do it. The people down downstairs at Wrexham last Tuesday night, I drove up there, myself and Cork, did what we had to do. That's what it takes. And that's what we spoke about on Monday. We did a debrief yesterday on Monday because we were so disappointed against Rex on Saturday. It was an hour and 20 to debrief. It's the longest I've ever had since I've been here because I felt we didn't have enough contacts on them, enough tackles. I tell you, we put enough in tonight for two games. And that's, that's the standard. That's what we've got to get to. So I'm proud, really proud. And, and just how important is it that we, that we build this uh, momentum now and take all these positives into uh, Saturday's match? Yeah, look, we're live on BT. It's great. It's great for us all. Hopefully we can get a good crowd. Um, like we did on Saturday, a decent crowd. And it'll be the same again. We've got to get our feet firmly back on the floor. We'll enjoy this evening. The trip back's now going to be a long trip, but we'll enjoy it. We'll do the professional things that we have to do. And we'll um, we'll start focusing on the shots Tuesday morning. Um, it'll be a tough game. You know, Mark's going in. I don't know how they got on tonight. Mark's going in. He's a good manager. Himself and Terry Brown experienced. And there's no, there's, there's no doubt they'll approve. I think they've probably approved or well, they know they've approved already. Seen some of the games, I want to get a bit of them. So, it's going to be a good game, and it's good to be on, in front of the live cameras. We're looking forward to it, we're excited. Thanks for your time this evening, Dean, and congratulations on the big three points. Cheers, Howard. You're part of it too, so it's your three points too.